All right, people. Welcome back. More card review. So, uh, a couple of you guys were pretty unhappy about the trumpets here. Like, if you can't see the potential, like that card has everything for a normal monster. The the attack, the level, the tuner, the plan. It had it all. And I guess because it was a normal monster, you guys were like zero out of ten would not bang. Oh well. So today we are going to be looking at an effect monster this time. So longer video, hopefully. So I can go into more detail about what it does. Uh, a couple of people have been asking me about this card. What do I think about it? So here you go. Here is the review. So today we are looking at Drifting Ghost and Winter Blossom. Assuming, you know, a sister or distant cousin of Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. I mean, same stat, same at everything. Looks the same. So, all right. Uh, Dark Zombie Tuner Effect Monster at level 3. So, Tuner, that's a, that's a plus. That's a plus. Uh, zero attack, but 1,800 booty. Not bad, not bad. So, effect reads, during either player's turn, if your opponent controls one more monsters than you do, you could discard this card, then reveal one card from your extra deck. Then look at your opponent's extra deck, which is great. You get to go ahead and look in your opponent's extra deck, get all that knowledge. Uh, and if they have a card or cards with the same name as the revealed card, banish all cards with that name from their extra deck. You can only use the effect of Drifting, Ghost, and Winter Blossom once per turn. So, I must say, this seems like a pretty good effect. Just being able to just be like, hey, you have more monsters than me? I'm Look, look, I'm going to go ahead and discard uh, her. Um, let me go ahead and show you Ptolemyos. Hey, do you have Ptolemyos in your extra deck? All right, banish it. No infinity. <laughs> you know, that seems like a great play, a great counter to stop something from happening before it already happens. You know? And I must say, this seems like a great side deck card that you side in for game two. You know, this isn't a main deck card. You don't main deck this. Because if you main deck it, you will probably miss. I mean, while it's nice to go ahead and get knowledge of your opponent's extra deck, it's not, you know, what good is that going to do is that we can't stop what's coming. And you just went neg. You know, you straight up just went neg. And with how diverse things are in, uh, you know, the the meta, it just doesn't seem like a good deck, uh, card to main deck. Uh, you know, you could be going against, you know, PP, where, you know, you know the general cards to call out, but then you could be going against Cosmos. So, you and let's keep in mind, this is game one. You could be going against, you know, Monarchs. They don't even have an extra deck. So, main deck in this is not a smart thing. But having it in your side deck and uh, busting it out uh, against a particular deck, especially if, you know, they go first, uh, just seems like a great thing, you know. Uh, it seems like a great game three card, you know, because, you know, if they win and you are in, you got knowledge, all right, then game two, you're going to go ahead and side. But, you know, generally with the way that uh, you guys been playing right now, you're going to choose to go first. And you're probably going to lock your opponent out. And, you know, these back and forth make these unbreakable fields and have these quick-ass duels is what it seems like the route that we're going to go down with you, you know. But in game three... You know, they're probably going to go ahead and try to set up this unbreakable board. They're going to try to drop their infinity, and then you're just going to be like, oh, well, you know, you have more monsters than me. You have monsters. I don't. You went first, so you're probably going to have monsters than me. I'm going to go ahead and pitch this Winter Blossom, reveal that Ptolemyus or that Rafisha, and gone. You know, so before the monster can even get you, it's gone. And that seems like a pretty good plan. My problem is that there's two different routes. You know, if it was indefinitely, all right, they're going to go into infinity, then awesome gets a Ptolemyus, but then they could just take the Rafisha route and vice versa, and that that's that's my one complaint. That that is my one big complaint is that there's other routes to be taken. You know, if you see that your opponent, you know, has two monsters on the field, do you you know they summon their second monster? Do you play it now and you know stop the Rafisha from happening, or do you play it now and stop the Ptolemyus? Because you know they could just probably just do the opposite. You know. So that's the problem. Oh, you has three monsters on the field. I'm going to play. I'm going to call Plateau Miles. Oh, well, I can't do the Infinity play. Well, might as well do the Rafisha play. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's my big complaint is that there is routes that you can go that it's not just a dead end at either side when it comes to this card. And uh, it just seems like, I'm not saying this is a bad hand trap. It just seems like there are better hand traps. Effect Veiler seems like the hand trap, all right, people? Uh, if you're not playing Effect Veiler or decide, thinking about it, you probably should. Uh, you know, instead of just, you know, worrying about the particular monster, you know, straight up, if they could, instead of trying to preemptively think what they're going to go into, let them go into Patona Miles. And as soon as they have Miles Effect, Veiler, nah, nah, nah. How about no infinity? Yeah, and Valor is also good against uh, you know that Skull Crowbat Joker that we see all the time. Almost one Skull Crowbat Joker effect Valor. 
You only get your effect when you're normal summon, and when I kill you, you're gonna go back to extra deck, so I don't have to worry about you getting that third. So yay, uh, you know, even monarchs, monarchs, they get they get hurt by them hand traps. So he hasn't came out yet in the TCG, but they get hurt by them hand traps. You do the freaking ideal Edos thing, Zaylor. <laughs> you know, you don't get that additional summon now. You know, <laughs> so you know, you're just kind of stuck there with a the monster. So uh, I think Zaylor is a better hand trap, but I can see the potential of this card. I definitely can, but. It's just too preemptive. It's just too preemptive. Even uh, Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit seems like a better hand trap. Uh, you know, that Naturia Beast that's locking you down. You play them Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbits. Yeah, you have that beast on the field. All right, I'm going to go ahead and act my Tundra Scale. I know you're not going to allow that. You're going to use your Effect Negate. Uh, Ghost Ogre, pop you. Have to be on the field to resolve, so my Tundra Scale is now set. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, bait you out with, uh, with Infinity. Yeah. Just play something and then you chain them. Ghost Ogre pop you, you know. I mean, sure, I, I got negated, but at least you're gone, you know. You know, at least you're gone. Or when you go ahead and uh, try to activate any of the monster effects, I'm just gonna pop you. Play that scale, now pop, you know. I play that, uh, I play something in my scale. I play my luster, luster effect, pop. Ghost Ogre pop. He needs to be on the field to re in the pendant scale to resolve his effect, so. There, you, there goes your uh, luster. <laughs> There's just a lot of better hand traps than this card. It's too preemptive. You have to side it in like game three. It's not a main deck card. And once again, if you don't call it right, you're going neck. Keep in mind, you're going neck. While you may get to look on your opponent's extra deck and pick something out, that's great. But extra decks don't count as resources while your hand does. So, like I said, you have five cards in your hand. You're going to preemptively hit them with it. You drop the, the drifting. Sure, you pick something out of extra deck, but now you only have four cards drawing into five. So... Yeah, so that's what I think of this card. There's just a lot of better hand traps, and it's not a main deck. It's you. You can start off. You can start off with uh with uh effect veiler. You can start off in main deck uh these ghost over snow rabbits, but you, you shouldn't do this with uh, drifting ghost winter blossom. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, and tell me if you guys are planning on side decking this card when it comes on the TCG. So I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.